warm up our body. So let's start the top of our mat, feet rooting. Ergo hastasana, let's sweep the arms high when we inhale. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. We inhale to rise. And exhale, downward facing dog. Find a full breath, navel to spine, push through the arms, feel strong. With an inhale, look towards your hands, bend your knees, step or hop as you exhale to the top. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, mount. Root to rise, inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands down. And to the next one. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, navel to spine, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, root the hands, step or hop back, chaturanga, and on your inhale, lifting, rising tall. Exhale, downward dog. Try to find length through the spine. While downward dog is great for the hamstrings, it's also about spinal elongation. We're going to next try to turn around in here. So on an inhale, lift your heels, look towards your hands, roll to your high plank. On an exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, opening. And exhale, downward dog. With your inhale, bend the knees, look to your hands. Step, hop, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale to rise. Exhale, downward facing. With our inhale here, let's sweep the right leg into the air. Look to your hands, exhale, drive the knee forward, hanging plank. Inhale, send that leg up and back. Exhale, knee toward the right armpit. Inhale, send the leg up and back. Exhale, knee to the left shoulder. Inhale, send the leg back. And exhale, step through between your hands. Inhale, rise to high crescent. Exhale, bend that back knee, hands to heart center. Inhale to reach, press back through your heels. Exhale, sinking low. Inhale, reach. And last time, hover the back knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, frame your front foot. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga, exhale, and inhale to rise. Exhale, downward dog. Connect to your breath, preparing to the other side. Inhale, sweep the left leg high, and exhale, knee to chest, hanging plank. Grip through the fingers, inhale, send that leg up and back. Exhale, knee toward the left shoulder. Inhale, send the leg high. Exhale, knee toward the right shoulder. Inhale, send that leg up and back. Exhale, step between your hands, high crescent. We inhale, arms reaching. And on the exhale, bend the back knee, armor up through the front. Inhale, reach, press out through the heels, palms are high. Exhale, hover the back knee. Inhale, rise. And exhale, melt. We inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, frame your front foot. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, opening up through the front body. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, 
inhale, look towards your hands, bend your knees, step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, to heart center. Inhale, reach. Navel to spine, exhale, bow over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, hover the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms high, step forward to your warrior three. On an exhale, sweep your arms back. And inhale, sweep the arms forward. This time as you exhale, arms go back. Maybe you bring that right knee in towards your chest. Inhale, reach forward, send the leg back. Exhale, pulling everything in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. This time as we exhale, let's drop our hands down to the floor, lifting that right leg high. Try to look toward your own shin bone. Maybe your left forearm can wrap around the back of your left calf. Fingers can wrap around the heel. Right hand can be support. And you draw yourself down toward your front shin. Try to lift that right leg higher. If you're looking for a challenge here, look in front of your foot for a moment. Pull that right hand in, and you can try to lift your right hand to the back of your calf as well. Okay. When you're ready, slowly begin. Bending that knee, lifting up through the chest. Stay strong in that left leg. Come all the way up, right knee drives forward. And we'll exhale, hands hug around that shin. Dropping your right foot down to the mat. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step or hop back. Inhale, find your upper leg. And exhale, downward facing dog. Big sweep of that left leg up and back. And exhale, step it forward and through. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, hovering that back knee. Inhale to rise. Exhale, stepping forward. Exhale, pull everything in. A little bit faster. Inhale to reach. Exhale, pull or melt over that leg. Grab hold of that shin. Lift the right leg high. And slowly lift up through the torso, pull that right knee in. Perfect. Whoop. There we go. And we'll drop that foot down. Yeah, we'll do that for the other side now. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. Big inhale, sweep the right leg high. Look toward your hands and exhale, step that foot through. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, hovering the back knee. Inhale to reach up. Sweep forward, step into that right leg. Exhale, arms can sway back. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale. Pull that left knee in, sweep the arms back, strong in that right leg. Inhale, extend. And exhale, pull in. Good, one more time. Find the entire length through the body. Exhale. Good, this time we reach. And as we exhale, we drop the hands toward the mat. We wrap the right forearm around the right calf. Drawing yourself in toward our shin. Lifting that left leg as high as we can. Maybe that added challenge of bringing the left hand in. Bringing it to the back of the calf. Pulling in nice and close. And lifting that left leg. When you're ready.
hand to lift. Hands can release. We lift the upper body, left knee drives forward and up. Let your hands wrap around the shin. And then dropping down. So we'll go through again a little bit faster. Inhale. And exhale. Fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step or hop back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward dog. Good. Finding an inhale to match the lift of the right leg. Exhale, step that foot through. Inhale to sweep the arms high. Exhale, hovering the back knee. Inhale, shift forward to your warrior three. Exhale, knee and arms pull in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, folding forward. Draw that left leg high. Connect to the peak of your pose here. And then releasing. Lift your upper body, left knee comes forward in front, and we can drop that foot down to the mat. Inhale, arms rise, and exhale, releasing. Good. Okay, give your legs a little bit of a shake. We'll find ourselves at the top of our mat, folding forward, and breathing into both hamstrings. So let yourself relax. Chin tucks in. Evenly distribute your weight through the left and right sides of your body. Micro bend through the knees, not locking into the joints. Releasing your hands down toward the floor, then let's step our right leg back. Drop your knee down to the mat. Let yourself walk your left foot off to the side. So I'm just going to marry it here. Walk your left foot towards the side. Turn your toes as much as you can towards the left. And then roll we'll onto the outer edge of your ankle. So you're wanting the ankle to stay strong here. Don't pull at the ankle, don't pull at the knee. We're looking for that stretch at the hip. Chest can stay open. Again, if this is a comfortable pose for you, then you can always lower down onto forearms. Maybe the back toes curl under and you lift your knee off the mat. We're looking for, again, this opening at the hip. We're also seeking that opening through the psoas. So if you feel like you're holding the tension, 
in the upper body, then when we exhale, that's where we need to release and where we need to let go. If it's all in this hip, try to let that go on an exhale, right? Keep breathing in with those nourishing breaths. Draw the energy into your body. When you're ready, we'll make our way to our hands if we were down. We can bend into that back foot or back knee. Sweep the right arm back behind you, grabbing hold of the foot if you can. If not, you can always use a belt, pants, anything at home as an extension of your arm and wrap it around your foot to find that reach, okay? With this, again, try to turn the chest up, maybe your gaze toward the ceiling. Looking for that deeper stretch through your side, through your hip flexor. Good, releasing out. Again, press down through the hands. You can walk that foot slightly in. Send it back, keep it lifted if you would like. Shift forward your chaturanga. Inhale as you rise, that foot drops. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. From here, let's bring the toes together and try to bring the soles of your feet towards one another. So we start to turn the toes out to make that happen. Walk your hands back, let the knees flare. And again, heels, soles of the feet trying to work towards one another. Let the heels drop back. Let your hips sink, and then walk your hands forward. Chin tucks in. Feel it both in the hips. Feel it in the muscles along your spine.
So that left leg comes forward. Again, sink through the hips, maybe lift up. Hands could be on blocks. Stand your hips then back. Pull the toes towards you, that outside edge of the foot as well. Back and forth. time, tuck the chin in first, then begin to lower the hips down toward the mat. Legs can always extend forward, arms turn up, and let yourself melt over the legs.